WVMU College Football Primetime presented by Five Hour Energy. Tonight, we're at Albertson Stadium in Boise for a Mountain West Conference matchup between San Diego State Aztecs and the Boise State Broncos. Along with former Colorado and Boise State head coach Dan Hawkins, I'm Dave Lamont, and here's the Mountain West up to date with San Diego State now in control of the West if they win this game tonight. While Boise has the advantage on Colorado State, they must win to maintain that top pace in the Mountain Division. And Hawk, tonight we're going to get a treat. For those people who like to watch the football run, you're not going to get a better matchup than this. Got the chance to see two great backs today in Amir Abdullah and Melvin Gordon go at it. And today you've got Donnell Pumphrey from San Diego State, a 1,200-yard rusher, and Jay Ajayi from Boise State, an 11-yard, 1,100-yard rusher, comes into this game off a of four straight 100-yard games. So you will get to see tailbacks in action. And yes, that happened for about two straight days in Boise, all that snow. It's beautiful now, other than the nine degrees, and it's a little bit warmer in San Diego, but we don't have any wind, so that nine degrees, not a problem. It's a dry cold, day. We got the booth open, all right? So everybody knows we're not hiding behind any windows here. It'll be San Diego State with a football, and we're ready to get this underway. On the famed blue in Boise, here we go. This will be Rashad Penny. And Penny cracks through and he gets hit at the 30 and is going to keep fighting. And a great run back by Rashad Penny. He'll get all the way out to just shy of the 40-yard line. Some of the Boise defenders tried to strip him with the ball and didn't tackle him. Boise gave up a big return last week to New Mexico for a touchdown. Typically, Boise State's able to kick that ball out of the end zone for touchbacks. A preponderance of the times, you see the weather having a huge effect on the starting position here tonight. As we bring on Quinn Kaler, the senior quarterback from San Ramon. He had a solid game last week and a victory over a very pesky Idaho Vandals team. You see his numbers on the year, though. More INTs than touchdowns. Keep an eye out for Pumphrey, number 19. And Pumphrey will get a chance here, and he'll get hit many times. He'll get maybe into Boise territory before Dante Dion slams him down. Hawk, you were down on that turf. Does it feel any extra hard in this cold weather? It's hard talking to the guys from Boise State. They were kind of wearing the old school AstroTurf shoes with the short nubs on it because it's hard to get your long cleats down into that, that uh, field turf. Take it down at eight. And they go back to Pumphrey. He's got a little bit of a hole, and he'll get to the 45-yard line. Pick up five on that one. Set up third down and short for San Diego State. Go. We take a look at our impact players. San Diego State stopping and starting off that power. Ezel Ruffin, a great receiver. Ben Hurt came back last year, and Dante Dion. Those two will probably be matched up a lot tonight. See what he calls on third and three. Taylor back to pass, looking for Pumphrey out of the backfield. He'll grab it. And he'll get a first down for the Aztecs before he is finally brought down into Boise territory a little bit further to the 28-yard line. Simple flat route. When you're in manageable down and distance, you can do this. Donnell Pumphrey's good hands, does a nice job kind of wrapping it up. It's a little bit cold out here tonight. Does a good job kind of body catching that. Staying on schedule here early for the Aztecs. 17-yard pickup and a first down. You see Pumphrey can catch out of the backfield. So can Ajayi, by the way. He does very well for the Broncos as a pass catcher. So both these guys do it purpose backs. They go out, swing it out here to Ruffin. And he attracts a lot of attention. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's going to be it. Thompson Darian, Thompson, out. Darian Thompson doing a great job running. He's going to be in a lot of plays because he's the extra hitter in this defense. And that play there was crowded in the box. Marcel Yates, defensive coordinator, outnumbered the running game. So they flipped it outside. The secondary doing a great job running it down. So second down and six. You see Thompson, what he's done so far on the year. Those five interceptions leading the team. Taylor, under a little bit of pressure, throws behind. It'll be third down. The intended receiver was Ezel Ruffin. Third down and 10, and some pressure that time from the Broncos defensively. Yeah, Bo Martin, number 53, getting in there. He's a real blue-collar player. Packed a hammer before the warm-ups. There you see him right there. No sleeves. This guy's only got one speed. You'll see both he uh, and Camille Correa get up in the field and, and get after the quarterback today. Got to think this is going to be a difficult night for field goal kickers, so if the Aztecs don't make this, there's an interesting decision for Rocky Long. Pressure against Kaler. They'll step away from it underneath. 
If the official gets out of the way, it's going to be Hazley. He will be short of the first down. That's only going to be about a four-yard pickup. Another tackle by Darian Thompson. You're looking at fourth down and six. Hazley needs to put his foot in the ground and get vertical. Good job by Kater stepping up with the pressure. Marcel Yates bringing five. Just put your foot in the ground and go north and south. Can't run around the zone coverage. And bringing out the field goal team is Rocky Long. Donnie Hageman, the junior from Covina, California, is 10 of 13. Hageman's done a nice job. Field goal kicking has really played the Aztecs over the last couple of years, and Hageman's done a nice job so far. 41-yard attempt. That's impressive, because that is a difficult kick in these conditions, and San Diego State grabs the early lead. They have beaten the Broncos on the blue before, and they say they're not intimidated in the early going. Proves they're right. Take a look at Rocky Long in San Diego State. And Rocky, an old school coach. Pretty much, is he the, the father or the grandfather of that 3 3 5 defense? He is. He's kind of the modern, uh, I don't know what you call him, the inventor. That word goes around. He's, he's run it ever since he was at Oregon State. Very popular amongst a lot of high schools and, you know, small college programs. When he was at Oregon State, couldn't get enough defensive linemen really to run a four man line and, and recruited the guys with the body types he could get. There's the head coach for the Aztecs, Rocky Long, in his fourth season, looking for his 31st win at the helm of the Aztecs, and he's one of the great coaches in Mountain West history. Yeah, winning his coach. Hasn't lost in the mountain time zone. Has won his last two trips to the blue. Beat Buffalo last year in the famous Potato Bowl here, and also beat Boise State two years ago here on the blue. And Brian Harson, certainly well known in this area, played here with the offensive coordinator under Coach Peterson. And now in his first season as the head coach, he sends out Grant Hedrick, a quarterback, on the ground to Jai. And he got hit hard at the 30, spun out of that. Trey Lomax, number 14, hit him hard, but Ajayi spun away and picked up a solid gain to the 32. Two teams not afraid to pound it here a little bit. Jay Ajayi is also one of those backs that warms up as the game goes on. He gets better as he gets to carries 20, 25, and 30. Well, he'll be the only thing that warms up as the game goes on. Little awkwardness on the handoff, but no problem here. This is McNichols, who's got great speed, and he'll get out to the 45 to the 46-yard line for a 14-yard pickup before Malik Smith brought him down. Jerry McNichols, a true freshman, took the red shirt off in the Nevada game. They needed some more production. He's a guy that they like, both at the receiver and tailback position. Got a lot of juice. That's the first first down of the night for the Broncos. Hedrick escapes one, and he'll just throw it away. See, Grant Hedrick had a big day last week, six touchdowns. He's really been hot the last two games, 11 touchdowns, only two interceptions. The two games that Boise State did lost, did lose, Old Miss and Air Force turnovers were the problem, but he's been hot. There's a blazer shot incomplete in and out of the hands of the receiver. At the 48-yard line, Dallas Burroughs. It'll be third down to 10, and here is the latest picture, Hawk, on the Mountain West. Well, as you mentioned, Nevada losing opens that door wide open for those for those West Division teams. Boise State continues needs to continue to win. They're in control and have the tiebreaker over Colorado State, which should it, should the thing run its course, you you think they might be in contention for the the six bowl games as the committee tries to pick those teams. That's yeah, going to be fourth down and 10, try to go along to Shane Williams Rhodes. And the other thing is Boise State and Utah State have not played yet, and that will be a season ender for those two, and that's going to have a lot of implications in the Mountain West and maybe in the national picture. Matt Wells doing a great job down there, uh, down to their third team quarterback, but still continuing to win games. You saw that shot taken to Shane Williams Rhodes San Diego State's going to run a lot of man coverage. You're going to have a lot of those opportunities tonight. They just have to hit them. Lloyd Mills has run one back already this season for a touchdown. This kick, Mills making a fair catch, and good field position for the Broncos defense this time. San Diego State, nine degrees. That's in the bucket of the Aztecs. Yes, this was yesterday's walkthrough. Yes, 
That's Mike Sanford, the offensive coordinator. You know he's the coach because he has a whistle around his neck. And this was happening yesterday. After all, the snow hit this area on Thursday and Friday, about three inches accumulation. You see it piled up here. And while it may be nine degrees, at least it's dry. With Dan Hawkins, I'm Dave Lamont. Big game in the Mountain West for just not the Mountain West, but the, maybe the nationwide picture. Yeah, let's get those pasty white bodies off there. But you're right, possible chance for Boise State. Should they continue to roll to get in contention for that New Year's Six? Jet sweep motion, and they run it. And Boise is ready for that. That play was snuffed out. Tanner Vallejo in there, really doing a nice job. Playing a lot of nickel tonight. Uh, but he's a very active player. Got forced into duty last year as a young guy. Good speed, runs around, makes a lot of plays for the defense. Rashad Penny, who came in on the jet sweep motion. Chase Price, 22, is the tailback. He sneaks out of the pattern. The pass goes incomplete. And there is a late flag. Lloyd Mills, number 82, is the intended receiver being covered by Cleshawn Page. He yeah, thought gonna, he was held. They're going to get Page holding on there a little bit. Pass interference. Offense. Defense, excuse me. Number three. 15-yard <laughs> penalty. Automatic first down. Double move, grabbing on just a little bit there. So mark it out to the San Diego State 40-yard line. Both of these teams have big offensive playbooks and can do a lot of things. And Bob Toledo's seen a few blitzes in his life. That time, Boise State brought the house. Aztecs blocking it up, and Kaler doing a nice job stepping up and making a throw. But how much does your play calling change in this kind of weather? Screen pass to the 44-yard line. That's going to be it for Chase Price. Pickup of four, maybe five if they get him to the 45. It'll be second down. They're going to say it's a five-yard gain. Chase Price also very productive. Donnell Pumphrey getting the majority of the carries, but Chase also a very reliable back. Nice little misdirection screen. You asked about how much the playbook's available. You know, I think, Dave, if it's the wind is the number one problem and then torrential rain, typically the cold, you can manipulate most of that. Price stays in at the top of the eye formation. And he'll get it. Gets a good block off the guard. And he'll fight right to midfield. And that could be another Aztecs first down. Tackle made by Thompson again. You see San Diego State not afraid to pound it in there, even though the numbers are against it. Straight lead play. See Corey Bell, 38, trying to get down in it. He's the extra safety. He played nickel last week against uh, New Mexico, but he's playing at safety, and he's the extra defender in San Diego State, not afraid to run it against extra numbers in the box. Taylor fires wide open. That's another first down. Catch made by Ezel Ruffin. He's been roughed up this year. He's only played in four games, now five due to injury. Very solid receiver. Not necessarily a burner, but a guy good inside and outside with his cuts. Saw Quinn Kaler making a wide field throw there. He's had a right shoulder problem that bugged him. He's missed some time. Came back a couple weeks ago. I think it's continuing to get a little bit better. Although I bet he used a little extra Ben Gay in this weather. He had to get that thing warmed up. It's first down at 10. We may need some of that, too, just for the heat factor. <laughs> Pitch out, and look at Price running with some verve. He'll get down to the 35. That'll be a gain of four, second and six. Another tackle for Darian Thompson, number four in the black. For those of you not old enough, that's a toss play. Okay, You don't see that much in football anymore. Uh, everybody's running zone read. That is not what San Diego State does. Uh, toss play, pulling a couple of blockers. There's Bob Toledo in the white hat. Pumphrey is back in the game. They also do this thing, Hawk, that's called a huddle. A lot of people don't see those anymore either. Is that where they get together and talk? They do, before each play. And it's going to be short of the first down at Pumphrey. You'll need three to go. It's Monterano number seven with a hit. There's Bob Toledo. I'll tell you, uh, our sound guys are doing a good job. You're hearing there's some racking going on out of that field, right? There's a physical football game. There's Bob Toledo. Coach, he was former head coach at uh, UCLA. Rocky was his defensive coordinator at the time. 
These two guys have been around for a long time together. So an interesting third down and three with the possibility of this being a go for it on fourth down if they don't make it. Drop play, Pumphrey. They're not going to have to worry about it. Pumphrey inside the 20. Makes a sweet move, and Pumphrey into the end zone. Touchdown, Aztecs. 33 yards. So now Pumphrey takes it into the touchdown for the Aztecs. Problems on the edge. Draw play here. You see they get it blocked up. Dakota Gordon does a nice job. The fullback, number 46, coming off, fitting up on the backer. After the DN ducked inside, and they got the edge, and Donnell Pumphrey finished it off. Maybe one Boise defender had a chance. It was Page, and when he whipped, that was going to be it. So a bit of a stunning result. The team from Southern California comes into the cold of yeah, Idaho. And with a minute 16 to go, they put together a 10-play, 87-yard drive. And so far, it's all Aztecs. Donnell Pumphrey, the 1,000-yard rusher, picks up 32 more. Time-lapse photography of downtown Boise. And the snow that came through started on Thursday and pretty much rolled right through midday Friday before it finally calmed down. And there's the shield the Aztecs brought with them to counter the hammer of the Broncos. And at the moment, it's the shield 10 on the hammer, nothing. And it's Donnell Pumphrey with his 14th rushing TD of the season, 22nd of his career. And here's a note to tuck away. The Aztecs have won four in a row when he runs for a touchdown. This is McNichols. And he'll get out to the 28-yard line. Hedrick on play action, a little bit of interference as that ball is globbed up and intercepted by Calvin Munson. Looked like that there was some pressure, that pass was tipped, and Munson with a difficult catch, and it's a turnover. That's exactly right, Grant. Hedrick's arm got touched. Ball didn't come out clean. Aztecs bringing five. Again, this is, this is something Boise State's got to have an answer for. That was Alex, Alex Barrett. Barrett. Yeah. Yep. Very active from the nose, and you're right, that's a pretty good catch for a linebacker right there. Munson making a big play, and you know, we know the games that Boise State have lost turnovers. What's everybody really? Everybody talks about that. It's it's the number one stat, Dave. You watch enough games, you yep. turn it over, it's tough to win. San Diego State in control. With Dan Hawkins, I'm Dave Lamont. The first quarter dominated by San Diego State, 135 yards to 27, six first downs to one. And you see why it's all those big guys right there. Terry Poole, 79, 310. Sarah Goose of 56, 325. Daryl Green, 72, 315. Right tackle, Pierce Slater, 6'7, 335. Marcel Yetz, defensive coordinator, is going to have to start to crowd the line of scrimmage to get extra defenders up there. Daniel Pumphrey is back in a tailback, number 19. Fake to him, he comes in with a good block and a deep shot down the field for Taylor. And it's at the 20-yard line and the catch is made. Wow, Chancellor James, 22, had a chance to make that play. We just talked in the break about possibly San Diego State taking a shot downfield. As see right there, blocking it up, play pass, getting everybody blocked, knocked down. That ball hung up in the air, but Chancellor couldn't quite locate it. Ezel Ruffin with a good catch. Mentioned that Kaler playing with a bit of a bum shoulder, but you got to take those deep shots just to keep them honest. He had two touchdowns at Ruffin last week in the win over Idaho. Now back on the ground, Pumphrey. And he'll get to the 16-yard line to pick up three on the play. Tyler Gray in there on the stop. Running power, America's favorite play, pulling the backside guard. Donnell Pumphrey with his pads down. We talked before, look at the drive start. It's almost Arena League football. Own 40, own 48, own 49. Ironically, the TD came on the long drive, but tough to stop when they only have to go about 50 yards. And a pitch this time. Pumphrey again puts his foot in the ground. He'll get inside the 15 of the 13-yard line. Moderano with another stop, a gain of three. There's third down and four coming up. Can't say enough the way this kid will put his foot in the ground and change. when we talk about putting the foot in the ground What it means is there's a sudden burst and a change in getting downhill and he puts his pads down 
and lose the pile. Not much there, but he still ends up getting three yards. And he'll check out of the game. We'll see if they put Chase Price, who's also run very effectively, back in the game. This into the end zone, very loud down here. San Diego State needs to make sure they're on the same page. Communication, snap count. And you see Price is in, number 22 of the tailback spot. He'll go out for a pass. Taylor looking end zone. He'll throw. And it's dropped at the eight-yard line. What should have been an interception by Tyler Gray. It'll be fourth and five. Yeah, got to have those hands. That's probably why he's playing on defense. Norm, those guys are on offense. Again, Marcel Vieira's defensive coordinator been bringing three on most of these third downs. Quinn Kaler's an experienced quarterback. He needs to anticipate. That's what he's been getting every third down. Can't turn it over in the red zone. Kind of a difficult catch as you look back on it for Gray, but it was definitely in his hands. And now on for a 30-yard field goal attempt as Hagman is one for one already tonight. Boise State has blocked a kick this year. But not that one. And uh, Hagman has been very impressive with two field goals, 41 and 30 yards. And right now, it's been all Aztecs. Boise State unable to get anything going on offense. And San Diego State taking advantage of good field position. So you got McNichols and Bertoli back deep at the five-yard line on the return. And San Diego State doing just about everything right. McNichols with a very short return. Calvin Munson in there on the stop and knock. It has been all Aztecs against Brian Harson's Broncos. Yeah, you see that. Obviously, 12, 12 yards passing. The other thing is you look at the amount of plays. Now, in the first quarter, they ran 12 plays. This is a team that averages close to 80. So obviously well below the number of opportunities, let alone the statistical. And now you're driving from the 20-yard line, which is not good as well. And he'll go to Ajayi, and he'll get flipped. That's got to sting just a little bit when you land on that turf. Demonte Casey on the stop, but it's a decent gain of six, second down and four. Okay, Mike Sanford spreading them out, offensive coordinator, spreading them out and running the ball, thinning that defense out just a little bit, giving Jay an opportunity to get going. Hedrick under pressure. He'll fall through the tackle, get to the 27-yard line. No gain on the play. John Sanchez. And they're on the Got to throw that ball on time because people are coming. You're not going to be able to hold up against this defensive line and the amount of blitzing that uh, Rocky Long is going to bring. Pressure from the edge. He's going to fire it down deep. The pass is intercepted, but a flag is down. The pass picked off by J.J. Whitaker, and Whitaker's got a nice return set up on the near sideline before he is popped at the 37-yard line. And this isn't going over very well. We got pushing and shoving on the San Diego State sideline on the near side. You got coaches trying to play peacemaker. So we're going to have at least one penalty here. Pass interference. Offense. Number six. That penalty is declined. First down, San Diego State. I was just going to say, Dave, it looked like Whitaker had his eyes around and was playing the ball and wasn't in a position normally where you get DPI. See, watch him snap his eyes. Great position. I don't know if I would call that interference. It seemed like he was. He made a tiny bit of contact, but it certainly had no effect on Whitaker. And here's what happened after the play. Everything's okay so far, and then somebody said something to somebody, and off we go. Jay Ajayi in there getting the hit. These are two teams that are very similar. I mean, blue-collar, old-school, tough guy football programs. They're going to run into each other a little bit. Pumphrey at the top of the eye. You saw the turnover story. Everything going San Diego State's way, and Pumphrey pops through. Bragging tacklers. He'll go inside the 15. Another flag is down at the 19-yard line. Correa finally on the stop. Now, this flag a few yards behind and not close to where the action is. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Oh. Number eight. Wow. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Well, you were right about the somebody not doing what they were supposed to be doing, only it was Correa, the tackler. Running lead straight up inside, doing a good job with the vision, kicking out. Marcel Yates said it. We had the quote from defensive coordinator at the top of the top of the show, man. He's not down until he's down. This guy is 170 pounds, but he's gonna give you everything he's got on every down. 
now it's first and goal from the six yard line. Ironically, San Diego State runs the ball well, but haven't been great in the red zone this year. Yeah, the pitch out, they go to Pumphrey, and he won't get anywhere. Great defense. Blake Reno finally jumped on his back to ride him down. No gain, second down and goal. Typically, Dave, you've seen it. I mean, teams that run the ball well usually do do well in the in the red zone. San Diego State has not done a great job this year. Boise State defense has been pretty solid in the red zone. Well, coming into the game, Hawk, they were 52% touchdown conversions in the red zone. That's really not good at all. No. And for a team that runs the ball. Now, passing teams, you kind of see that, but not teams that run the ball. Now, Pumphrey motions out of the backfield. Play action over to Gordon, and a dart in the end zone. Touchdown. Catch by Daniel Brunskill. Great little scheme. Play action inside of Gord Dakota Gordon, the fullback. Draws the linebackers up. Great catch in cold weather. Great catch anywhere, but especially in cold weather. Well, earlier when we began the evening, we showed you the difference in the temperatures between these two cities. Nine degrees of kickoff here in Idaho, 64 degrees in Southern California, and you'd think the Beach Boys wouldn't handle it too well, but that is clearly not the case. Off the interception by Whitaker, it's a 34-yard drive and three plays in a near-perfect football game being played so far by San Diego State. being done to the home team here the Boise State Broncos who trail 20 to nothing as Jeremy McNichols will try to get things going on the kickoff return and he can't get it done he'll get to the 24 yard line I think his own man may have brought him down quick throw from Hedrick that's caught again that's Shane Williams robes he'll be a couple of yards short of the first down train Lomax on the stop it's a pickup of eight you know, Mike Sanford, the offensive coordinator, wanted to go fast, but it's hard when you're not getting many first downs. He's had a couple on this drive and able to start speeding up. That limits the defensive playbook. Now back on the ground, disappearing, and should be a first down if you follow the official at the top of the screen. Ajayi with a carry, and let's see if they move the chains. See what Boise did the first five drives, including two critical turnovers on interceptions. Hedrick going deep down the field, and it's going to be. Oh, what a grab! Unbelievable catch! Chaz Anderson down to the four. The youngster, this is the guy that could take the top off. Boise State doesn't have a bunch of those types of threat. Chaz, a young guy. And these guys have lived off explosive plays. Uh, over the years and certainly need one tonight. And Hedrick frantically motioning for his guys to get in the right position. They're loading up the left side. This will be a giant nothing doing there. Boy, that play got killed by Jake Feely. And he is slowly coming back to play for the Aztecs. He had neck surgery in the offseason, didn't play the first seven games for San Diego State. With 42 in there in white, he is a good linebacker. Watch out here now. Grant may keep it. He had room to keep it there, and he does. And he won't get anywhere, and there's Feely again. Gain of a yard. It'll be third down and goal. Malik Smith also plays one of the warrior positions for Rocky Long's defense. Jake Feely here, 42, with the Palomalu hair coming in right here. This guy's a hornet now. He makes a lot of plays. He's a run and hitting machine. Third down, goal. Hedrick, fake pattern. Catch, incomplete. Nope, not quite. Spurbeck, well defended that time by Brandon Porter, number 18. And now Boise faces a fourth down and goal, and they'll send out the field goal team to try to get some points. And Great some job by Porter recovering right there. And Spurbeck, he's... His talent really is being able to move his body around in space and make some of those difficult catches. And you see he's got a beat on it, but Porter does a great job putting his hand in between the receiver's hand and able to knock it out. Dan Goodale is 14 out of 18 this year on for a 21-yarder. 
And the Broncos are on the board for the first time tonight. It took until 328 in the second quarter on this nine degree evening here in Boise. Do we have a hashtag SC top 10? I think we do on the catch by Chaz Anderson. And single digit temperatures here in Boise on the blue in San Diego State. And that's had to be a little bit of a letdown hawk for Boise to get the big catch inside the five and do nothing with it other than a field goal. Yeah, certainly an emotional victory for the defense of San Diego State. Play action fake here. Taylor under some pressure, and he will just even. Second and ten. There's a little veteran experience paying off. Yeah, Bo Martin in his face. He didn't want any part of that, understandably. Marcel Yates has not blitzed a bunch. Sometimes when people are getting after you in the run game, you're going to run blitz it, try to add numbers to it. They certainly have people that can rush the passer on their own in Korea and Martin. Second and 10 for Quinn Taylor and the Aztecs. Screen pass set up here to Pumphrey. Pressure coming and they read it well to the Boise State Broncos. Kept everything in front of them with another tackle from Thompson. It's a gain of five. It'll be third down and five. Again, nice job rallying to it. Screen play. Looked like they're going to have something on the outside, but the inside out pressure and hustle from Boise State kept that play from breaking. Third down and five. Taylor 10 of 13 with a one touchdown pass. Chase Price is the tailback, number 22. Fired, dropped, fourth down. In and out of the hands of Lloyd Mills and a pretty good throw from Taylor. Close to being picked inside. Okay, so boys to get a little momentum, scores three. Aztecs able to get one first down in that, but bringing out the punting unit and then hopefully swing the field position battle just a little bit here for the Broncos. Dante Dion awaiting this punt, and that's a good one. Right to the 19, he'll take a shot at it. Then he'll get to the 23-yard line with a four-yard return. So now in a minute and the 38 seconds, it will be one timeout. And Grant Hedrick having the football, not great field position, though, at the 22-yard line. They're going to say not the 23, but the 22. No. Hedrick going to try to sling it here. Goes underneath. This is a giant. He can go now. He's good. To the 35, and he's dragged out of bounds at the 36-yard line by Whitaker. And there's a flag, possibly for a horse collar. Yeah. Yeah. It's a foul. Horse collar tackle. Defense, number seven. 15-yard penalty from the end of the run. First down. Nice job with the screen play. Last week against New Mexico, Mike Sanford called a screen play on the first play, and J.J. took it to the house. There's your horse collar. That's an easy one. Grabbing around the back, around the neck area there, and pulling him down. Hedrick under pressure, sees a little bit of a gap. He'll pick up some yards here, and a good tackle kept him from getting a first down. John Sanchez, number 99 on the stop, but still, Hedrick picks up a solid seven. It'll be second down and short. He's also another four or five type runner. He gets out in the open area. He'll be tough to bring down because he can roll. Fires there, catch is made at the mark, but that may be short where sort of gets rewarded with the opportunity there. Casey on the stop. And he didn't make it. San Diego rolling guys in and out. Clock on the move. The Broncos just with that one timeout left. And there you go. There's your first down. It's a 35-yard line. Barrett on the stop. That will stop the clock while they move the chains. Ajayi beginning to run hard. And it's good. Barrett got off the block of Marcus Henry, the center, and got an arm on Jay Ajayi. Or I think he would have hit that one. Hedrick under a little pressure, throws the middle, and is caught down to the 15 inside there. Thomas Spurbeck with a grab. The tackle made by Lomax, and Boise is in business. Getting a little rhythm, going fast, limits the calls by Rocky Long, limits the substitutions as well. Hedrick, bait pattern, end zone, caught, touchdown, Spurbeck. 
What a drive by Boise State. Caught him in man coverage. Spurbeck running a flag. Had two under routes on the outside. I think that's going to be a P.I. as they grab Spurbeck trying to run by. Holding. Defense. Number 18. Penalty is declined. Result of the play. Touchdown. So Porter, who earlier in the night made a great play, knocking the ball out of the end zone. That time called for the penalty, but it's not really relevant as Spurbeck gets the score. See your two runner routes on the outside. Flag route, corner route. Spurbeck can make all those over the shoulder, turn your hands and your body type catches. Very good. It's his second touchdown catch of the season, Hawk. And for Hedrick, his 16th touchdown pass. We're going to step aside, have a little cocoa here with San Diego State in front. Let's go to, to Brendan Fitzgerald and Charles Arbuckle in the studio of the College Football Halftime Report. San Diego State Aztecs lead the Boise State Broncos 20 to 10, along with the former head coach here at Boise and also at Colorado, Dan Hawkins. I'm Dave Lamont. And the tale of our 2,000-yard running backs begins with Donnell Pumphrey from San Diego State. He had a big half, did a nice job pounding it, slowed down a little bit in the second quarter, but really up to his old self in that early part of the game. 32-yard touchdown run. He also has shown the ability to catch the ball out of the backfield and make big moves. San Diego State opened up with a 20-0 lead, but Boise State sliced that in half, and Jay Ajayi is yet to really get going. Yeah, he has not had, I think, his long run of the night is six yards, which is very unusual. Able to get to him a little bit in the pass game, in the screen game, which helped open things up. And I think Mike Sanford found a little room, spreading it out, going one back using less personnel to spread out the defense of San Diego State. The be Boise football to start this second half and tucked into the corner of the end zone almost is Jeremy McNichols. And he'll run into some resistance there and he'll get out to the 23, maybe the 24 yard line. So Grant Hendrick, who have been one of the hottest quarterbacks in college football in the last four games, including 11 touchdown passes and two interceptions, got this team going offensively after a very slow start. No sacks, which is good. Two interceptions, which is bad. Let's see if Mike Sanford stays. It looks like they are going to spread them out here, going 10 personnel, meaning one back, no tight ends, four wide receivers. That tends to thin out the blitz package from the Aztecs. And on the ground, Ajayi will get outside. The 25 to 26 picks up three. Second down and seven. Sam Meredith, one of the captains of the Aztec, on the stop. Sam's had a good game so far, getting in, in a lot of plays. This front of San Diego State is very active. It's listed as 3-3-5, but you'll see even in like this down, you've kind of got four guys on the line of scrimmage. See the breath coming out of the helmets. It's nine degrees at kickoff. After a couple of days of snow here in Idaho, quick decision by Hedrick to get rid of it, and a wise one, Jake Bro. The redshirt freshman tight end from Scottsdale, Arizona, was in the right place for a short gain. Tackled by Porter's third down, and they're going to need about five. Meredith doing a nice job staying outside on the naked bootleg. Mike Sanford's tried to move the pocket around a little bit to take a little bit of the pressure uh, from the blitz package. And Rick rolling right this time. Under a lot of pressure. Nice little touch out of bounds. He just couldn't do anything else with it. The Sam Merritt bore down on him and forced that throw out of bounds by Hedrick. Moving the pocket again, but good thing about moving the pocket is you get away from the pressure. The bad thing it is, it reduces the amount of surface that you can spread out in routes, and things got pretty content congested over there. Grant doing a nice job just not trying to make a bad play worse, just getting rid of it. That was actually 58 Barrett, not 98 Meredith. Either way, it's fourth down and five. And Sean Whale, the punter. No win tonight. That's the one thing that will help the kicking game, but that came out funny off his foot. And it's going to roll sideways. Snapped out of bounds at around the 45-yard line. A very short punt for Whale. Got to be careful here. If you end up punting the ball, it's, that's not a problem, but you certainly don't want to turn the ball over for San Diego State. And the Aztecs haven't done it yet tonight. Taylor on the fire. Oh, that's a perfect throw. Is he in balance? Wow. Yes. Eric Judge making the grab. Got the foot down. 
and a first down. This is a laser. Boy, that's just how you draw it up. It doesn't always work like that. In and out of the cut, ball thrown way before the cut. Boise State bringing pressure, picked up nicely up inside. Just off the outset, outstretched hands. That's That'll be on the teaching reel for many years to come. The 43-yard line of the Broncos, a major third down conversion for the Essex in their first possession of this half. Now they go to Pumphrey, he pops to the hole very quickly. Man, he gets to top speed in a hurry. He'll make contact at the 35-yard line with Chancellor James. It'll be second and short. Right here, doing a nice job pulling there, pulling the tackle, which is a little unusual. Don't get the same read. You see the crease. Anytime you pull a blocker, it, it adds another gap to the scheme, and that's something that Boise State has not seen a bunch, giving them problems. Two yards to go on second down. Now we'll go to the fullback. That's Gordon, and he'll get a first down to the 31. Dakota Gordon with a four-yard pickup. That's his 21st carry of the year. Correa in there on the stop. But ah, the, the old fullback slip, Dave. I'm an old fullback. You know, you got to like that. Give it to him about once every three years, make him feel happy. <laughs> he does all the hard work, so you might as well reward him, right? And they go for the end zone right here, and it's overthrown. in complete coverage on Ruffin that time. Good job by Boise. It'll be second down and 10. Yeah, basically one-on-one -on -one out there. Doing a good job getting it over the outside shoulder, but Ezel Ruffin, one of your better players, you got to give him an opportunity to make a play. Just go jump ball, get that thing up, trust your best receiver to either make a play or it's incomplete. And that time you had Dante Dion. That's kind of the matchup both coaches were anticipating. A very good corner and a very good receiver. Play action fake, Kaler on the run. And he'll have to keep it, and he'll fall down to the 27-yard line. He's nursing a bit of a shoulder injury. Going to his left is very difficult, if not impossible, for him to throw. Blake Green on the stop, but he can run right well. Coming with a little bootleg action. Did a nice job picking up the edge pressure. And you're right. They don't want to see him take too many shots on that shoulder. I'm sure it's a little stiff in this weather anyway. Third and six. Third and six. Been thrown to the backs in this down and distant category before. Humphrey does go out of the backfield, and there he is, Hawk, and it's incomplete. Not sure that would have been a first down. As you can see, Ben Weaver, number 51, was waiting. Yeah, I think Donnell Pumphrey was sensing that. He kind of went with the T-Rex arm just <laughs> as a token. Yeah, maybe if it sticks to my hand, he's to fully commit that with both hands. And they're going to bring out Donnie Hagman for the field goal attempt. This would be around 44 yards. He is made from 41 and from 21. Got to be careful for your Boise State right here. If you got to fake up your sleeve in Rocky Long, this might not be a bad place to use it if you got one. Hagman 30 and 41. The Boise field goal is from 21. One second on that. He'll pump it. I tell you what, for a team that was one of the worst in college football last year in field goal kicking, clearly Donnie Hagman has cleaned up that problem, and San Diego State stops Boise's 10 unanswered points with a field goal here early in the third. Single-digit temperatures here on the blue at Boise at Albertson Stadium, but San Diego State clearly not bothered by that. 23 to 10, and Hawkey were talking during the break about how you want to start a third quarter for the Aztecs, that's a great start. Yeah, the first half we always say, did you come to play? The second start of the second half, the exchange, did you come to win? And typically, that's the tone setter for the second half. So Boise State gets stopped. San Diego State comes back, kicks a field goal, edge to the Aztecs, obviously. All right, so we'll see what Boise State can do here to recover. They have been trailing the entire time. Brian Harson in his first season here, he had a good run at Arkansas State for the one year he was there. But this is home for him. It was very understandable for him to come back to this opportunity. Played here, he coached here, and now he is the boss here. And a good snow shoveler as well, as we found out yesterday. The five-yard line, this is McNichols. And McNichols quick, but he runs into trouble there at the 25, maybe the 26. A little pushing and shoving continuing after.
And Hendrick will keep it. Made one little swift move and gets three yards. Tackled by Galea. Came back with zone read. San Diego State bluffed out of it and then did a nice job dropping the safety back down to account for the quarterback keep. Good little chess match by both coaches on that seer on that draw on that uh, play right there. Now uh, Boise will send two receivers out to the far side of the field, one to the tight side. And here's a pitch forward to McNichols and San Diego State read it brilliantly. That's going to be a loss of four back to the 23 and the hit made by Brandon Porter. Well, they just didn't get a block from Jake Hardy outside. Runner fly sweep here. You see Jake 84. Um, unable to get Porter down, does a nice third job playing third off third that third block. Third so it's third and 11. This Mike is Sanford kind of electing to go with, again, just the 10 personnel, one back to spread that blitz out a little bit. Underneath Ajayi, trying to get going, and Ajayi's not going to get very far. He's not going to get the first down either. They'll get to the 32. They'll be five yards short. Malik Smith on the stop, but this is kind of how the game began. Boise unable to get anywhere on offense. Yeah. They might get back to the screen game a little bit with Jay. They obviously dumped the ball down to him. That was a small, smart play by Grant. You don't need to force it in there. Plenty of football left. I know it seems kind of humdrum at this point you're down by 13 but plenty of football left don't turn the ball over yes takes a foul to Jai to 29 yards on 11 carries Lloyd Mills there's the oh there's a fake that's Boise State football this is working down to the 50 45 down to the 43 yard line Boise State had to shake it up a little bit and they do on the pass to the snap to Chris Santini out of San Jose and it's a first down no risk, no reward. Got to live outside the comfort zone. Kent Riddle, special teams coach, guru, been around for a long time. He actually told me before the game they had that fake dialed up. Good courage by Brian Harson to call it. You know, you call it, it works. Everything's your genius. If it doesn't, they think you're an idiot. So obviously he's a genius after that call. <laughs> and playing fast, boys, he'll pick up a yard or two. There's Galea. All over that play, Hedrick on the carry. It'll be second down and nine coming up. It's always great when your quarterback can run, but I also get a little bit concerned. Start taking those shots, they start adding up and get dinged. Shoulder gets dinged, your knee gets dinged, and you want that guy to be able to make the throws he needs to make. And I would think in these temperatures and on a hard surface, everything is going to be exaggerated, too, when you talk about that. And there's a great effort by Ajayi. While it's a short gain, it could have been a lot worse. He actually will move that out on the tackle by Porter. And they're going to mark him inside the 25 or the 24. You know, Jay will stay patient. He will. He won't just uh, blind dog in a meat house and just cram it up in there. He'll kind of wait and see and let it develop and, and get up in there if he doesn't get that immediate crack. So he's, he's very patient for a big back. He goes off the field as Boise goes empty here. This is where, again, a pair of legs like Grant Hedrick has will help you out because you got five receivers out and a still a viable running back in the backfield. Quick throw, middle of the field, wide open. First down, Spurback having himself an evening here at home, and he'll get inside the 10 down to the seven yard line. Nice job by Grant. San Diego State again bringing an extra rusher, but everything was picked up. Spurback able to beat man coverage on the in cut. They mark him at the eight, first down and goal. Now Ajayi back into the game. He gets a quick burst, gets inside the five. Second and goal from the four yard line. Once again, Munson, number 54 for the Aztecs among the tacklers. Boise State find a success going unbalanced, meaning the tight end is ineligible, and they'll put the balance of the receivers over to one side, so you get a little bit of an overload. Helps them both in protection and, the, and their running schemes. Ajayi has 14 rushing touchdowns this season. Both of these teams make a living off of that play. 
It's like Travis Averill, a guard, and a big block in there for the Broncos. Remember, it was 20 to nothing San Diego State at one point, and now you see where we are with 4.31 to go. All of this set up by this great big punt. Chris Santini and Boise State. We all know what they're capable of when they get creative. And there's some time-lapse photography. This was yesterday trying to get this field where you could actually see the blue, and it took some time to get it done there. They had staffers up there sweeping some of the snow off the bleachers, and here we are. Carson was, Carson was shoveling snow over by the football facility. Mark Coyle, the athletic director, was shoveling snow up in the, sand, in the stands. Not sitting in the ivory towers here. Blue collar, baby. Blue collar. Got Kendrick Mathis and Rashad Penny back deep. This is high and short. This will be Penny. A little bobble. That slows down his momentum. And the Broncos are all over him. He'll get to the 20-yard line. And that's going to be it. This game is starting to change. And the field is beginning to tilt toward Boise State. We'll see how Quinn Kaler and the San Diego State offense and Donnell Pumphrey reacts to all this when we return. A statistical indicator of success for San Diego State is that young man right there, Donnell Pumphrey. He's got 99 yards, and you see how well the Aztecs do. And it's intercepted! Page to the 20. He'll be dragged down to the 15-yard line by Pumphrey. First turnover by San Diego State and Boise with amazing field position. That one got away from Quinn Kaler. Threw it on time, but it was inside. Come back with a little play action pass. Inside leverage the whole way. Just ball got away from him. Got to stay outside and throw your receiver open. Up to this point, they had not turned it over. There's the first one for San Diego State. Boise State has not led in this game. They're right now at the 14-yard line with their 15th interception of the season. Ajayi with an opportunity here. He'll get to the edge. He'll get knocked forward, not backwards. He'll get inside the 10. There's his vision, cutting it back, backside. Doing a really nice job slipping outside, using a little stiff arm, running with some power. And a seven on that one. They'll need three. We'll see if Boise will try to run one more play before the quarter runs out. And off to your man. And Ajayi will get a first down, I think. Lomax on the stop. And that is the end of the quarter. They're going to have a long way to go to get to the other end zone. And we'll find out if this is indeed first down and goal or third down and short. But Boise getting the fake punt. Brian Harson called that one, and then getting the Ajayi touchdown, and they're getting the interception. We're set up for a big finish. There's your Bronco faithful right there, sticking around for the fourth quarter finish. A balmy 10 degrees up there in the snow. I know that aluminum feels good. <laughs> what makes Bronco football great right there? He's Dan Hawkins. I'm Dave Lamont. We get ready here, first and goal for the Broncos who have not led in this game yet. This game with a lot of importance in the Mountain West. Ajayi, and the Broncos have tied it up with his second rushing touchdown of the night. And they're celebrating by throwing some snow in the air. <laughs> that is not LeBron James chalk, I can guarantee you that. <laughs> Loaded up, three tight ends in the back, coming back with a power play. Boy, Ajayi delivering a blow that time on the way across the goal line. It's a big physical back, 225-pound kid. And for the first time tonight, the Broncos take the lead. These guys are going down to get closer to the action, clearly.
So let's take a look at the Mountain West and why this game is so important. You see our two opponents tonight. Nevada, a loser today to Air Force. San Diego State still has to play Air Force in San Jose State. And Boise has what I guarantee you is going to be a hard game in Wyoming and the big game against Utah State. Matt Wells and those Aggies. Big win today against New Mexico. Craig Bowl doing a great job with the Cowboys. It's going to be a balmy temperature there in Laramie next week as well. <laughs> well, it's, it's actually warmed up Mark, to 10 degrees here. We had nine at kickoff. And they fake the pitch out, and then they go back to Pumphrey. Pumphrey taken down. The knee went down to the 24-yard line, tripped up by Chancellor James. Here you see one of the younger coaches in the country, and Brian Harson. This guy stayed pretty calm for being a bunch of young bucks. Rocky Long there on the right-hand side. I don't want to say what is the older, but you certainly have uh, he and Bob Toledo. Brian Seif, the old Cleveland Brown quarterback on the staff as well. So you've got two different uh, paradigms here, the youth versus the, the old guard a little bit. Seif up in the press box is the quarterback coach for the Aztec. Right now, second down and 11. And they stay on the ground and nothing doing, no gain. Somewhere underneath all there, you see the tackler. And it was Tanner Vallejo. Yeah, Tanner Vallejo there. Marcel Yates bring a little bit of pressure off the edge against the run. Now you got to be careful on the road. Now Quinn Kaler's veteran quarterback, but again, plenty of football left to be played. Don't get careless with the football. You got to check it down, check it down the punt. Pressure, Kaler in trouble, and it's incomplete. Fourth and 11, three Broncos at his feet. Saw Weaver in there, Correa as well, number eight. Boise State had both defensive ends down. You see everybody else standing up in the middle. A little confusing for the offensive line. Correa comes blitzing back inside. You see a lot of heads on a swivel there in that offensive line. Nobody really sure who to get. Leakage comes through. Pretty good punt. Deion, fair catch. Good field position for the Broncos, 38-yard line. That's something they really haven't had that often off of punts, this decent field position. They have that, and they seemingly have everything going their way after overcoming a 20-point deficit against the Aztecs. Nick Saban now the winningest coach against number one teams of all time with his fifth victory today. He's, isn't he the winningest coach against a lot of different <laughs> Yes, he is. At the college level, there's no question. Hedrick will keep it, and he will wisely get out of bounds as he was being chased by Trey Lomax. That'll be a pickup of four yards. It'll be second down at six. There you see his wheels. They had that play contained, and he kind of caught another gear. Got outside. He can roll. This is where San Diego State's defense needs to come up with an answer. Come up with a turnover, big play, negative play, get a little momentum started back for the Aztecs. Like that, they stop Ajayi, who was fortunate enough to only cut that down to a one-yard loss with an extra plunge. It'll be third down and seven. Dakota Turner busted that play up. Trying to run split zone in there, and they're able to get underneath that block. Third down. Create that gap from widening. Again, the Aztecs have been playing a lot of two deep man. They're not going to do it on this down because they're showing blitz. Looks like he's got man across the board unless they check out of it. Boise slides an extra protector down in there. And with two on the clock, Hedrick gets the snap. A little hold there. He'll lob it up. And that's going to be incomplete. Flags go everywhere. Shane Williams Rhodes was the intended receiver. That really is making something out of nothing. Got two guys Pass kind of spinning around. Defense, number 23. 15-yard penalty. Automatic first down. Just remember in college, it is not a spot foul like it will be Sundays. Yeah, Casey again, kind of gets caught there. Credit Grant Hedrick for kind of throwing it up and giving him a little bit of a chance. So the 43-yard line into Aztecs territory. Boise State having the answers here in the second half between the interception, the fake punt. Certainly gives on the better end of that penalty. 
Ajayi will stretch, string it to the outside and fighting through tacklers. Ajayi with a run down the sideline inside the 20 yard line. He'll get down to about the 14 before he is dragged out of bounds. Malik Smith had a great chance to make this a short game, but Ajayi shook him off. Here he is getting better as the game goes on, running power again. He can cut, puts his shoulder pad down, a little stiff arm working. And Dave, he's like all the good ones you've seen over the years, man. The game wears on, he gets better. He wears you down as the game wears on. Now he sees a good gap, and there's a good example, Hawk, of the patient style you talked about. He picks up five there before Porter brings him down. I like it, Harson, or not Harson, but uh, Mike Sanford comes back with the same play, running power back over there. It worked before. A lot of teams around the country doing that. Now one play works, come back and run it again. That was 21 carries for him. And 96 yards we have up here. There's you Mike see. Sanford and the visor up there, the offensive coordinator for the Broncos. One more time, this time a pitch. One block, Ajayi stays on his feet. Touchdown, Boise. Three for Jay Ajayi. Wow. Aztecs had it bottled up. That straight recruiting right there. <laughs> Going down to the Lone Star State, getting yourself a big time back. Plano, Texas, the redshirt junior. Coming back with a toss play of their own. You can see there's players there. Got to get the head across, make the tackle, get off the block. And a good one down there from Chaz Anderson to the receiver, number six. That was the last block that Ajayi needed. This was a 20 to nothing game for the Aztecs led in the second quarter. Well, both our thousand yard rushers have not disappointed tonight. Donnell Pumphrey over 100 yards. Ajayi now over 100 yards and three scores. They've been brilliant. Pumphrey has a 32 yard touchdown run tonight as well. And this will be Penny at the four. Got a crease. He'll get dragged down to the 30-yard line, a 26-yard return. Rough into the lower part of your screen, number three. He instead is the blocker, and they'll go to Pumphrey. He'll pick up three to the 33-yard line. A hit made there by Chancellor James and Blake Reno. Second down and seven coming up. When San Diego State gets in that two-back, one tight end set, Boise State essentially ends up having a nine-man front because you got the safeties down in there as well. This is where you got to be able to throw the ball on the perimeter and win one-on-one -on -one matchups. And the ball is thrown on the perimeter, two yards short of the first down as Mills took a hit from Cleshawn Page. Cleshawn Page has the interception that really helped turn this game around. Nice catch, just running the hitch against off coverage. Got to get that ball out a little bit sooner. Good hands. Two yards to go here. See Blake Reno, one of Broncos' better defenders. Had some injury issues last week against New Mexico. And instead of going to Pumphrey, they throw it down the field, and it's a first down. Eric Judge with the grab right around the midfield, and maybe even in the Boise territory, he does get right to the 48. On yeah. Just getting outside of Ben Weaver right there. Pretty tight throw. I got to admit, I was fully expecting the handoff to Pumphrey, as is probably everybody else here. 13 to 22, 137, a touchdown and a pick for Quinn Taylor. Off coverage at the top, press coverage down here at the bottom. There he goes to the left. And he fit oh. that in a tight window to Mills. First down. Wow. He's made a couple of really razor sharp throws now. Bob Toledo again, I think, is seeing the same thing. Again, that 21 personnel, you're just outmanned in the running game. You got to be able to win outside. Kind of going away from uh, Dante Dion, preferring to work over there against Cleason Page. Taylor, two halves for the Aztecs on offense, but they're moving the ball now. They go to their money man, Pumphrey. And he'll get to the 34-yard line, pick up three. Monterano on the stop, second down and seven. Monterano's had a good game. 
for the Broncos, been in a lot of plays. He gives him a lot of athleticism from that linebacker position. Fullback checks in. That's Adam Roberts, number 44. And he lines up as a tight end. Right behind him is another fullback, Dakota Gordon. Pitch out. They run that way where the two fullbacks are with Pumphrey. And Pumphrey breaks free. Pumphrey down to the 15, the 10, and end zone. Boise tried to, to blitz from the backside. Obviously not enough. Here you see the value of the fullback. Right there, Gordon with a kick out block. Toss doesn't always have to go outside. Good dip up and out. Breaking a tackle. Tyler Gray unable to come up with a play. We're gonna go for the tie here. Chase Price at the tailback. They fake it on the throw. Price won't get there. And Boise will hang on to the lead. Donnell Pumphrey, 24 carries, 147 yards, and his second long touchdown run of the night. Are you okay with the decision to go for two? Yeah, I like it. You know, you're, you're only two points down. You might as well go ahead and get yourself in range if you can. You don't know how many times you're going to get back down there anyway. Jeremy McNichols makes him a couple of tacklers miss. He'll get to the 30-yard line, and it'll be Boise and Grant Hedrick coming Jeremy out here. With Dan Hawkins, I'm Dave Lamont. And it'll be a Jaihe. It's going to be a Jaihe a lot since he gains four months in the, on the stop. Interesting that San Diego State sort of backed off in that formation. Run heavy look. You would have thought they crowded it, which they did earlier in the game. Mike Sanford, I think, wanted to kind of slug it out with the Aztecs, but they crowded extra people in there early. Jaihe with 110 yards. Now add about four more, maybe five more. Munson yet again, number 54 in white on that stop. It's going to be third down and a yard to go. This is where a really good football team step up. Your conditioning, your strength and conditioning coaches get involved here. All your practice reps, you got to be able to finish a game. You got to execute, think your body's fatigued a little bit. You got to produce and put a rock on the gas pedal. No surprise. And a first down, a giant. Everybody shoving him forward. Getting a little push from his line. He's dropped to the 43. Malik Smith on the stop. First down, Broncos. Trying to steal the Aztecs' will. Straight power play. San Diego sees it. In practice every day, Pumphrey runs it as well. Going to force Rocky Long to get extra defenders up in there in box and crowd those gaps. It's Williams Rhodes in motion. They go back to Ajayi, and he'll run into a lot of contact. Maybe a hard-earned yard there for the 42. That's going to be all before Cody Galea brought him down. My sweep action. Williams Rose did fool nobody. Might come back to that. See if you can stretch him out horizontally. Under five minutes in this Mountain West matchup. Boise State needs this to maintain pace in the Mountain Division. San Diego State can take control of the West if they can come from behind here. That looks a little awkward, but Ajayi will fight outside the 40, or inside the 40, I should say, to the 39 before Meredith brings him down. Now here's third down and six. Now the folks in Fort Collins will be rooting hard for the Aztecs because right now Colorado State owns the strength of schedule. Theoretically could have the advantage in that group of five selection, but Boise State has the tiebreaker over them, and Colorado State will not get to the championship game if Boise State wins out. It's going to be a great Mountain West Championship game in December, I'll tell you that. Tank top and shorts. Oh, of course. Bobbled, caught, first down, Broncos to the 31-yard line. The grab made by Thomas Spurbeck. Munson with another stop, but it's a gain of eight and a first down. Tommy Spurbeck, going out of 
Sacramento, he's reliable. Longtime football family, the Spurbecks in Sacramento. Dad Dick. Dad Marshall was a coach at Sac State. His uncle, Ken O'Brien, drafted oh, yeah. by the Jets back in the day. That's right. Kenny O'Brien, UC Davis, Aggies. Big win over Cal Poly today. A lot of motion, but it's still straight ahead. A lot of window dressing for a straight ahead handoff with Ajayi. Is Gobbert on the stop. Yeah, Williams Rhodes keeps looking over the sideline going, hey, uh, nobody's running with me <laughs> when they fake it. I run about five miles, coach, on these face. Can I get one? Maybe now, as Ajayi, understandably, is a little winded. Most likely, we'll see Demas in the backfield. And instead, it's Hedrick on the keeper of Bertoli, providing the blocking for the football. Look out there, almost grabbed a face mask at the 16-yard line. So Hedrick with his first carry in a while. Just a straight quarterback run on the first down. Yeah. That's the Wildcat without the Wildcat. Using your quarterback. Running power, lead back. Two tight ends, so you got an extra gap anyway. You got an extra blocker on the power. And look at the clock. Pretty impressive. They call it four-minute drill, and it's been longer than four minutes, but just being able to. They've had the ball for over six as Ajayi back into the game is brought down by Malik Smith. And now I think San Diego State's going to take a timeout. And they do. Rocky bringing pressure from the backside. Season's on the line for both these teams really right here. This is what it comes down to. Ball's in the red zone. All those summer conditioning, all those weights, all that running, all that grinding this whole season. 10 degrees out there. San Diego State trying to stay alive in the West Division. Boise Strait trying to keep momentum going to capture that Mountain Division. 13th play of the drive coming up. They've run 54 yards in 621. Hedrick playing it conservatively. He'll get inside the 15 and down to the 13. That'll gain three, third and seven. Christian Hayward stops him, and now the second Aztecs timeout has been called. Same play. Nothing fancy. So here's your third down and seven. And Hedrick's just going to keep it. He doesn't want to get out of bounds unless he can get to the end zone. He does! Touchdown, Boise State! If you're going to stop the clock, that's an acceptable way to stop the clock. The old quarterback sweep. Don't see it much, but when you got a guy that can run, I'll tell you, Grant, Grant Hedrick has put up some pretty big numbers the past few weeks. We talked about four touchdown passing, two rushing last week. That's a big PAT, by the way, because that makes it a two-score game. Grant Hedrick's... In the end zone, on the ground for the sixth time this year, a 70-yard drive in 14 plays. So the fans hanging in, most of the fans hanging in, and Boise State with a huge fourth quarter, and Hawk, that is a money-making drive. 14 plays and 70 yards. Yeah, that that's just trying to steal another team's will, and that's Jeff Pittman, the strength coach. All that stuff coming into fruition for Boise State. Yeah, don't take that one out. Now San Diego State has only got one timeout. They're a huddle team anyway. They'll need a lot of good fortune to make this happen. Chase Price, the tailback, number 22. He stays in the block. And there's a catch out to the 33-yard line, getting out of bounds very quickly. Boise State rushing three, dropping eight. Four deep, four under. Coach Yates is going to want them to keep them in bounds. It's Michael Holder who picked up the catch. Still celebrating in that student and fan section, and in some cases, shirtless section. Taylor. I need some pressure here. 
And he's set. The play made by Gabe Perez. His first sack of the season, it's third down. Gabe Perez, one of those other active members up front, doing a twist job, ends inside, tackles outside. Quinn Kayla's got to have a little situational awareness there. He can't take a sack. This is Price. He's got room, but he won't get the first down. So we're going to be set up for an all or nothing fourth down. And Vallejo on the stop. The Aztecs are going to need two. Getting it out to Chase. Good job, little dump. Buys himself some time. It's harder when you straight drop back. You can't burn the ball because you've got to make sure there's a receiver in the territory. If you roll out a little bit and you're outside the pocket, you can kill it. Been thrown to the backs a lot of times in the third down this, this territory, the first part of the ball game. See if he goes to the back again. It's Price, and the Aztecs are alive and more. He got out to the 45 yard line. James on the stop. That's a nice 13 yard pickup. And I'm wondering where Donnell Pumphrey is. Got to go if you're the Aztecs. Got to go. You got to get lined up. Pressure up the middle. Kaler hangs in there and delivers the team complete. Good thing it wasn't a spear. Hit him right in the chest. Got to make that play. Big time players. Lloyd Mills had a chance. This is Bell getting in a clean shot on Quinn Kaler. Second and ten. San Diego State out of timeouts. Marcel Yates got two DNs down, three stand-up guys inside. Rush three, drop eight. Plenty of time this time, and it's incomplete. Third and ten coming up. Looks like he was trying to get it to Ezel Rough, and boy, haven't called that name very much tonight, have we? No. I don't know if it's because of matchup issue. Uh, typically, you're going to try to get a guy like that involved. Obviously, he had the big play in the first half. Didn't really have opportunities in the second half. You saw Donnell Pumphrey not getting looked at by any of the training staff. Just, I guess, the coach's decision to go with Price. They may feel he's the better pass protector in this situation. Taylor. Long throw. Fourth down coming up. Tough to fit that Long one in. Flags here, Hawk. Wait a minute. We had something happen after the play. I apologize for stepping on you. Let's see. This could be a critical call. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, offense number 56. 15 yard penalty, fourth down. That's Nico Siragusa. And. Brian Harson either shouting encouragement to his team. I can't imagine him being unhappy with the official there. So now, instead of 4th and 10, which was bad enough, it's going to be 4th and 25. Got to maintain your poise. One of the great things about sport, one of the great things I love about football, you poise under pressure. It's, it's not easy, but you need it in life. You need it in football. Got to have a little bit of that in the, in the clutch moments. And they'll run a hook and lateral this time. Mills, and he lost it out of bounds. And Boise will hold, and they will win. San Diego State had a 20 to nothing lead in the first half. It was 20 to 10 at halftime, and Boise State is taking control in the fourth quarter. Trying to run Coach Peterson's play from the Fiesta Bowl back in the day. And Boise State will knee out from the 39-yard line. So Boise State improves to eight and two, and more importantly, five and one on the Mountain Division of the Mountain West. Well, the Aztecs are five and five overall, and now there you see where they stand, three and three in the West Division. So Boise State has the run of the Mountain Division for the moment. Yeah, and as we talked about, Nevada losing today, 
to a tough Air Force squad. Hats off to Troy Calhoun and the Falcons winning the uh, Commander in Chief Trophy this year. Once again, our final score is Boise State 38, San Diego State 24. For Dan Hawkins and our entire crew, thank you guys and ladies for hanging in this cold. I'm Dave Lamont. Now let's go to Sports Center U.